For more of What's Making Headlines this Thursday, we take our daily spin through six degrees of news. All five living presidents were on hand to celebrate the opening of the George W. Bush Presidential Library today, and President 43 got a bit emotional. Whatever challenges come before us, I will always believe our nation's best days lie ahead. God bless. The complex was two years in the making and will house 70 million pages of information, 1,200 cubic feet of audiovisual records, and 80 terabytes of electronic records. 100 miles south, some less famous Texans were also honored today. The city of West paid tribute to the first responders who died in last week's fertilizer plant explosion. The town has already buried its first firefighter, Kenneth Harris. Another explosion is grabbing attention. Overnight, two gas barges in Alabama burst into flames, critically injuring three. Sarin gas deployed by the Assad regime is responsible for the death of dozens of rebel fighters in Syria, according to the Israeli government, which bases its claims on pictures of the dead foaming at the mouth. Now both the White House and Secretary of Defense are saying there may be enough evidence to support the claim. President Obama has said in the past that chemical warfare is a red line that could spur military action. General David Petraeus, of course the decorated military man infamous for his career-ending affair, has long also been known for his grueling workouts. Now he can help you get into shape. That is, if you win a raffle, for just a few dollars, you can enter to win a private workout session with the general on the National Mall. And if physical fitness isn't your speed, then you can try to win, and now I'm not making this up, a one-on-one -on -one game of Battleship with four-star Admiral Michael McMullen. And one lucky guy will be the first pick of the NFL draft tonight. Lucky, kind of. He'll probably have to play for the Chiefs. The Redskins do not have a first-round pick this year. And in a year when there aren't that many high-profile names, a lot of us will be looking to see where Manti Teo will land. Of course, if you don't remember him for his stellar on-field play, you almost certainly remember he's the guy with the fake dead girlfriend.